So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video. In the last one we discussed about position fixed and how it worked and how it differed from position absolute. One of the drawbacks of position fixed was that the element was always, always fixed on the screen. What if um, you want something like if you want to scroll a little and then the element should be fixed, right? So that it, the element should wait for you for it to appear and then it should follow along with you. How do you make that with position fixed? Well, you can't make it with position fixed just using CSS. You would have to involve a bit of JavaScript in that. But there's another thing known as position sticky. Now position sticky in CSS3 allows you to do exactly this. So I have a little bit of HTML here. You can see I have a diff class article and all these articles with the h1 and some p tags, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say article h1, that is every h1 inside the article, it should have a position sticky, right? And I'm gonna give it a top of zero. All right, so what does that mean? Now, if I go ahead and scroll this, you're gonna see that, or actually let me just go ahead and give it a margin top of 30 pixels. Right, so now go ahead and see that meanwhile I'm scrolling this, this nice heading is not fixed, right? But the moment I hit the nice headings um, content boundary, for example, you can say that it should be called as the, as the scroll view position, but you can think of it as the content boundary. So think of, for example, let's just go ahead and give it a border as well, because why the hell not? One pixel solid red. So pay close attention. As soon as the browser hits the red boundary of the of the box, nice heading actually becomes position fixed, right? Um, and I can give it a background of white so that we don't have that interfering background. So you can see that as soon as I hit it with the red border, as soon as the scroll tops hit it, it becomes position fixed, right? And the good thing about position sticky is that it is smart enough to convert it back again to position relative that is not stick um, forever as soon as your parent actually ends, right? So that's, that's a good thing. So you can see that we get this nice little effect of having some menus which are, um, uh, you know, they are just separated by headings and the headings follow along, right? So you can have something like uh, about me and uh, you know just like what I do favorite programming programming languages something like that so you can have this nice little effect of headings just taking over where you left right I absolutely love it I in fact use it myself um, just out of the box it just works so beautifully and elegantly that it, it's just basically beautiful so yeah, that's how position sticky works in a nutshell and that's how you can use it. And uh, if you were just wondering what would happen if you used position fixed here instead of sticky, you're gonna get your world blown apart because you know, all the H1 elements just stick to the top zero because well, that's how position fixed works and you can see they are all overlapping with each other. So definitely not a job for position fixed, but 100% a job for position sticky, right? awesome so yeah that's basically it for this video if you liked it don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one really soon